Michener's Adventures in Paradise. Starring Gardner McKay as Adam Troy. The Archer's Ring. Guest stars Anna Cashby, Wayne Morris. without you. How much does he owe you? Two quid. Well, there's three. When he comes to, give another bottle when it's empty, throw him out. No, no, wait just a minute. Just, you can't go away and leave me. Oh! Oh! Grandfather, the truck is here. Mayday, Mayday. Atoll Airways flying boat. Nine aboard. One engine out, second one acting up. Gonna have to put her down. Flying boat, nine aboard. Pilot's putting her down in the middle of the Coral Sea, not too far northeast of us.
Uh, Chen Bo. Uh, uh, plain he no worky, so me fixy. Now you go shore side, okay? Is there anything serious? Oh, so you speak English, huh? Are we far from Saigon? A long way. Too far to fly with a wobbly prop. Why do you put us ashore? Why can't we wait in this plane? Well, it's going to take hours to fix that prop. Ah. Oh. Yeah. We have decided we would like to stay in this plane. Well, you let me decide, huh? I'm the pilot. Are you leaving us here? Why would I do that? There is a great deal of money on this airplane, Mr. Wickham. In fact, you are aware of. <laughs> well, I'm not going to leave you, Pop. I'm glad to hear it. And you know what would happen to us if you left us on that reef? We would starve. That's right, you would. Now, come on, let's get aboard the raft, huh? OK. Oh. Monsieur Troy. Your boss man. Me like you speak with him. Boss man, all the same downstairs. You come along me, we catch him. How does it happen you don't speak Chinese? I'm sorry, you were silent, so I didn't think you understood. You should have given me a minute to catch my breath. You didn't have to make fun of me. Oh, now I'm the one who's sorry. Let's start over again. Be sure Troy's below, mademoiselle. I suppose you speak French, too? Oh, my pigeon's better. Adam? Adam! Captain Troy, Mademoiselle... Le Fabier, and you? Oliver Wendell Key. What can we do for you? An Atoll Airways flying boat was lost some time ago. I'm told you search for it. Sit down. It was a six-hour sail to where he called from, here in the Coral Sea. We found no wreckage, no survivors. This was found on the beach of the island of Mabakuba last week. It's an archer's thumb ring worn by one of my ancestors during the Han period. It was in the jewel box that my grandfather carried with him when he boarded that plane. The Mavakuva is here, Captain Troy. A long way from where the plane went down. And in the opposite direction from Saigon, where the plane was going. Uh, how did you get this ring? On Mavakuva, there is a Chinese merchant, a member of my grandfather's association. A native sold it to him, and he knew from the inscription in it that it belonged to the house of Chen Bo. Well, a ring can't float. A plane can. I take it this ring has some value. A great deal. My grandfather carried other things even more valuable. He, like the other old gentlemen, were going to their homeland to spend their last few years of their lives and then to be buried with their ancestors. How much wealth would you say was aboard the plane? I only know what my grandfather carried. The savings of his whole lifetime in that little store. The others came from different islands. They were merchants and shopkeepers, too. Then they had all of their valuables in the plane, too. I would like to charter your boat to find my grandfather. Now, do you really think there's a chance your grandfather's still alive? There is a man who might be of help, an American. He flew from Nomeo on that plane. Say, Sammy, put your shirt on, Sammy. Two blokes is looking for you. Yeah? What do they want? They didn't say. No drinks now unless they pay for them. And not too many if they do. When you're a blotto, you bust too much crockery. Yeah. Here. Take yourself a trip someplace. Button up your shirt. 
your wife? Sounds like it, doesn't it? No, I'm Daphne's genie. She keeps me in a bottle. Anytime she wants something, why she pulls the cork. What do you all want? We understand you flew in on a plane that was lost some time ago. Sorry, I got the shakes a little bit this morning. Oh, did you? Yeah. You're looking at a lucky man. For once in my life, whiskey kept me out of trouble. Is that so? What kind of trouble? The worst kind. Getting killed. <laughs> Here's the poor old Red. If I hadn't gotten plaster that morning, I'd be down at the bottom of the Coral Sea with him and those poor old Chinese men. You're lucky, all right. Well, don't rub it in. They died and I didn't. Easy, nobody's blaming you. How could they? It was an old crate. Only thing that was holding it together was chewing gum and spit. I knew it was going down. That's the reason I got drunk that morning. Now, why don't you go away and leave me alone, huh? You haven't told us what we want to know. How could I when I don't know what you want to know? What was aboard the plane? Eight old Chinese. And their valuables. Oh, I don't know. I saw a lot of boxes and bundles. Why all the questions? We've been asked to look for the plane again, this time in a different place. Mavacuva. Hmm. Going to have a look? Do you think we should? If there's any chance of finding them. Brad was a buddy of mine. Fair enough. Dish water is getting cold, Sammy boy. Fine pal he was. When the bottle's empty, chuck him out, he says. Then off he goes into the wild blue yonder. I wonder what Sam's real reason was for getting drunk that morning. I'm wondering why he didn't bat an eye when you mentioned Mavacuba. Do we take the charter? I think we should. <laughs> for an answer. Have you ever seen the night sky over China, Captain Troy? Adam. Yes, I've seen it. Are the stars really brighter there than here? <laughs> 